Today is the day. We've got shelves to paint and we have toys to price and then tomorrow we're setting up a new antique mall toy booth. There's a lot to do. All right, this bad boy is sanded and ready to go. Here's the thing though, we don't have enough paint. Look at this, it is not gonna do all of the bookshelves that we have to do today. So I'm going to go to the store, get more paint with this here code. You get started on this one, see how far you can get done before we get back. Cool. You think you can finish it? No. No. <laughs> home sweet depot. My home away from home. They got the captain out here gardening the home depot. I'm into that. There you go. Hello. Look at this drama kitty. He wants to run away, doesn't he? He's so mad. <laughs> You're on the leash because you will run away. <laughs> He's so mad. You moved pretty fast in that first coat. Yeah, it's a light color. Yeah, this is the lightest one we have, so it'll be the easiest. That's why we did it first. Look at look at your shark thrift shirt. <laughs> Pink thrift. <laughs> Get your painted shark thrift shirt on TiddoTrash.com. I'm just kidding, we don't sell those anymore. Okay, next up is this cabinet right here with the door on it that we gotta paint, which causes two problems. I gotta take the door off, so there's that. But I've also kind of haphazardly been storing some stuff in here, like there's part of my Hollywood video game collection, because it's a thing I do, and there's all my Game Gear stuff. This has just kind of been a catch-all, but we gotta, we gotta sacrifice it for the toy booth. That's just how it is. Okay, while Hannah is getting some painting done, here's what I have to do. I printed some comic book sticker labels. I have some sleeves and cardboard backing for comic books, and then a whole box full of comic books here that's like some stuff I picked up at the thrift, as well as like half of my old comic book collection that isn't really stuff I want to collect. Uh, and this will be our first real experience selling comic books whatsoever. We've never ever even tried. I mean, there's don't get me wrong, there's a graphic novel or two in one of our toy booths somewhere, I'm sure, but we've never had a comic book box. So I'm interested in seeing how this goes because I pass up a lot of comic books at the thrift, and I could certainly, certainly keep this box here stocked and ready to go. But a lot of these are already sleeved. Uh, yeah, there's lots of random Batman stuff. Some of them already have a sticker on them from one of our old booths, so I kind of got my work cut out here for me. I probably, it'll probably take me just as long to price this and all the Thomas the Tank stuff I have to price as it will take Hannah to do the next couple bookshelves because there's just so much. You know, there's just already stickers on stuff, and it's like, do I want to take the time to get the sticker over there, off of there, or just toss this and put it in a new one? I don't know. I don't know if I need to worry about time or money of the money in our uh, products here. I don't. I, I, it's just. I, I'll tell you what. It's almost. I'm not trying to complain too much here, but it's overwhelming every time we go to start a new toy booth. We've technically done this four, five, six times almost now. If you include once before we even had the channel. It is not overwhelming like, oh, we're losing our minds or anything, but it is like that day or two before it's time to go get into the booth and get ready to go. It's like, ugh. It's like, uh, we got so much to do. And honestly, we shouldn't have waited so long to paint those shelves. We shouldn't have waited so long to do this, but we kind of have to with the way that our schedule works, making videos and doing everything else. But uh, I am excited about how much stock we have for this second booth. I'm excited that we're moving in with three shelves ready to go. Normally, when we open a booth, we barely have enough shelves ready to go. But uh, we waited long enough this time that it's going to be okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I guess I'm going to pull out all these ones first that already have stickers or already have sleeves on them. And then I'll sleeve the next ones. Uh, and I'm going to get them all priced. I'm very excited about it. It's kind of random how some of these are. Uh, this one has a sleeve but no backing. 
I don't know how it ended up that way. And I think I just saw an advertisement for, yeah, I did. Love that game. Let's go. All right, well, I have all of the comic books into the sleeves, but I'm out of price tag, so I gotta go to Target and buy more. You're doing pretty good. Are you about done to where I should bring you the big shelf now, or? Yeah, probably. Quit being big mad. Um, okay, yeah, I'll go ahead and bring it, because I have to go to Target and get some more labels, and it's in the van, so I'll go ahead and bring it. Love me some Target. And I'm going there to get my sticker labels because uh, it's best to, and cheapest to order them bulk online sometimes, but didn't know I was out this time and I need some right now. And uh, I will say, I've tested a lot of sticker paper labels and the cheapest for best ratio ones are definitely the ones I get at Target. Uh, there's definitely cheaper ones where you can get more but they get kind of crappy and then there's expensive ones that are really nice but they're too expensive. These are right nice in the middle. I've finished the comic books. Hannah has almost finished the bookcases. She's got one more coat to go on there, and then we gotta move on to the shelves, which honestly we both agree is the annoying part. But I've got all the shelves gathered, and then I've also spent pretty much the better part of the last hour just gathering all our nerve stuff into one place so I can start pricing it. Just getting it together was the hard part. Putting stickers on it will not be. How are you feeling about it? I've been painting for six years. Six years of painting? Yes. Why did we choose such a light color? I don't know. Your fault. My fault. <laughs> <laughs> We're both sick of painting. We're both sick of stickers already. How about that? How's that look? I'm pooped. <laughs> We're hungry, so we're gonna go eat. This will probably be the last thing we filmed today, though I don't know. But tomorrow we're gonna wake up and get those where they go. It's not its not been that much work. I mean, we got those painted, that was the hard part. And honestly, this is the first time we've ever painted that many shelves and got it done before the sun went down. That's true. And uh, a lot of the stuff's priced, not everything, but we'll probably price all night and then price a little when we wake up tomorrow. And, Tomorrow's probably gonna be the hard part. I don't know. Is it, is it hard putting the stuff in? It kind of sucks dragging these big shelves all through an antique mall and yeah, not breaking stuff. That's probably the worst but once, of it. Once we get it all to our booth, it'll be all right too. We did work though. Did it. What do you want to eat? Tacos. This looks great. I'm so dirty. It's a Tindo custom right there. It's the next day, and here's how I'm starting the day. I've got the giant yellow shelf that weighs a million pounds. And I've got it on a little rolly cart. Thank God for these little rolly carts from Harbor Freight. Uh, they make everything just a little bit easier. I'm gonna get this bad boy in my van and I've got some leftover cardboard boxes that uh, I'm gonna try to like lay down and put between them so they don't scratch each other up. They're dry, but they're not like five days later dry, so. They're gonna, uh, they're gonna be a little touchy. They're gonna easily scratch. And I'm tired if you can't notice. Can't think of what to say. <laughs> it's early. two in there. I've got one more to bring out. I need to put some more cardboard boxes in between them. Whew. Every time that we go set up a new antique mall booth, 
I don't do as much as I should to keep those shells from banging each other. And then they always end up there with a couple scratches that don't really look good. It's not happening today. I'm gonna do this right. Okay, we gotta get these shelves to the market too without them uh, scratching each other up. So Hannah, Hannah's working on that. And I actually just found not one, not two, but three pairs of my absolute most favorite Tito shades in the back of the van. They were like in the door, in the door. Uh, but they're here now. They're my see-through pair, my yellow pair, and my like leopard, kind of leopard pair. They're my favorite ones. What do you got? I think I know who walked on these. Is that a doggo or a cat -o? We can be awfully ambitious sometimes. We really thought yesterday after getting all that painting done and all the sorting and stuff, we were gonna get tons and tons of product in there today. But now that reality has come upon us, we now know that the real goal today should have always been getting the shelves in there and getting some product in there. And then over the next three or four days, we'll go back and forth just bringing new product that we have priced. Uh, that's exactly how it worked with all of our other antique malls. Setup day, and then lots of stocking days. But here's our first bit of product. Bunch of nonsense, Skylanders. You know, just the usual stuff we'd be selling. Uh, I need to get a couple more cardboard boxes between this shelf and that one though. So let's think about that. <laughs> now there's a loading job. All right, everybody, get familiar with this place. Brass Armadillo 2. We'll be spending a lot of time here over the next week setting up another antique mall booth. But before I can get all the stuff out of here, we need to go inside and uh, talk to him about getting our ID badge because we're gonna need ID badges to bring stuff in and out. So let's do that. All right, this is home sweet home. It's a little bitty booth compared to our other ones, but uh, it, was, it was really the best they had. We're official now though. We're super official. You ready to start moving stuff in? Let's do it. I'm not looking forward to this. Signature candles, let's go. So it's gonna be several days and several trips here before we get this place lined out looking exactly like what we want. I mean, look, I only brought four Nerf guns, right? There's gonna be 10, 15 here, and then of course like a tray of darts and accessories like our other booths, but uh, we just had to get the hard part out of the way today, which is getting the shelves in, getting them touched up, making them look nice, and getting what little stock we have uh, put on them. So, I'm happy, I'm happy with the day. Just, we gotta come back with more stock tomorrow. One of my biggest problems is I need a table to put Thomas the Tank stuff on to go in that corner. And then I think we're gonna do a table in the center so you have to walk around the sides and the center table will have Legos or, I was thinking about doing Hot Wheels stuff on it maybe. I don't know, I haven't made a decision. We're gonna get something in here though. Uh, so definitely subscribe if you haven't already so that you can be coming back for these regular antique mall booth videos should be a good amount of antique mall stuff in the coming weeks because as soon as we get this one perfect we're going to revamp one of our others as well and make it make a little bit more sense so it's going to be good <laughs> she got sucked 
<laughs> what? Gotta take a trip through all the lock boxes real quick. Try to find me something good. Don't let Hannah see this. Keyblades, Tony's, wands. Actually, the wands are probably for me. Those are beautiful. The keyblades, though, are wild. We might end up upsetting a few people because I sell three times that many for a little bit less. This is pretty wild. I've seen booster packs for this Tomb Raider trading card game, but I've never seen the deck boxes before, so I want them. I just don't want to pay that much for them yet, so no. maybe we'll get around to it if we want to make a video for those on our other channel, but that's awesome to see. It's awesome to know they're out there. Siphon filter, Colony Wars, okay. Thank you. I'm not seeing a lot I want to pull the trigger on, but I'm seeing a lot of cases that I need to keep an eye on. Digimon stuff, all this inbox Pokemon stuff from when we were kids. I remember almost all of this, especially uh, like this bag of marbles back there. I had that. That'd be a good one to find out in the wild. That Pokemon watch is awesome. There's so much here I remember. And then these inbox sealed rocket starter decks. Let's, cool. let's go. Okay, there you go. That's day one, get a good look at it. I'm gonna get a snapshot, I'm gonna get a picture and make a little time lapse later, I think, of here's what it is, here's what it's turned into. Very happy, go ahead, you're fine, thank you. But I'm very happy with it. Uh, it's a good start, we just got a, uh, probably another solid week's worth of work. A week full of days with just as much work, just getting stuff in here. But for now, there's a thrift store we're like right next door. So let's go over there. It's good to know that this brass armadillo looks just as busy on a Sunday as the other one does. There's a lot of people in there, a lot of people shopping. Too bad we couldn't get more product in there to get shopped today, but that's all right. It should be about half full tomorrow. A couple days after that, it'll be completely full. So here is, where are my glasses? Here they are. So here's the thing. This Goodwill's pretty close to our antique mall. And uh, to be honest with you, we don't come here a ton. We used to, when we first moved here, we stumbled upon this Goodwill. It's kind of hard to show off on camera, but like we're in this huge shopping complex and almost everything here is empty except for the Goodwill and it's all the way in the back corner. So it's a really, really odd Goodwill. And it's really never been great. And I wonder if it's not because it's so close to that antique mall that just like we're always going to stop here on the way. A lot of the people stop on the way and buy stuff to sell at their antique mall. It could be that. But at the same time, the Goodwill that's just close to our other antique mall that we go to daily sometimes is one of our favorite Goodwills. So I, I, I don't know, but we're probably going to go here a lot just because of its proximity to the antique mall. So let's check it out. There's a surprising amount of really cool furniture here. Look at this thing. I would totally get it for $15, but this is all completely broken it's a shame that's a terrible slip cover but a nice little futon couch thing it's a, like an ikea thing it's just pretty nice this is really cool it's like a diy thing for sure and i kid you not we had this exact same lawn chair took it to all of our swim team events hey we gotta buy both of these 25 dollars for two okay or just I walk right in the door. <laughs> I walk straight here. Uh, here's your phone. Oh, thank you. Um, this one's put together wrong. Yeah, and it does have shelves. No, the other one, they're all over here. Oh, okay. Which is what's crazy, it's both of them. Sweet. Well, that's really cool because that, that's all the shelves that are gonna go in there. We can't fit anymore. Yeah. But your dish booth needs more. 100%. So these will probably both, well, I don't know if these will go in there or not, because these will be easier to paint yellow. Yeah. If you want to paint, if you want to finally get around to painting your shelves a different color, you should use these. If, if not, we need to paint them yellow and switch out some of the ones from my other booth. So I don't know, there's options, but we need them. Bag toys real quick. I don't know that anything's going to top those shelves. It's kind of hard to explain how much we need them, because those shelves that we just bought, they cost about 60 to $80 new at Ikea and we don't want to pay that so we can only really pick them up when they show up here at the thrift for you know a few bucks there's godzilla wookie huh, that's an interesting bag it's gonna be hard to leave behind uh but we only get our hands on them when they show up at the thrift really cheap and they did that today so we're good to go you guys see anything am i missing anything i don't want to miss nothing i need some thomas the tank stuff where you at where you guys at? What a shame. This is such a beautiful Pyrex piece, but it doesn't have its lid and it's $18. So it's a rip, but I love seeing that one. It's real cute. Also, they have one of these things. Huh. 
not great. <laughs> I just got super excited and super let down. I have enough pieces to complete one of these Vulcan Nerf guns, but that's the most disastrous Nerf gun rip I've ever encountered. How did that happen? I know exactly how it happened. This is Goodwill. It got dumped out of a bin. Big boom. Nah, it probably fell off the shelf. That's a bummer. That would have been nice. All right. Well, we picked up two bookcases. Couldn't have come at a better time. Our confusion as to whether or not to paint them or leave them. There's a lot of variables and a lot of like half made decisions or unmade decisions. Hannah hasn't really decided if she wants to paint all the shelves in her booth one color. We've even decided, we've even considered painting them yellow so that one of these days when we can get bigger booths at the antique malls we're at, we can do more of a like half and half his and hers type thing where it's all yellow and it all kind of goes together, but like one side's for adults and one side's for children or something like that. But I don't know, what'd you decide? You think you're just gonna leave them that way now? I think right now, I'll just leave them that way until I can decide. <laughs> yeah, I, I think we'll just leave them in her booth. We'll take them to her booth tomorrow or something, the way they are, because they're ready to go. They've got, they've all got their shelves, which is pretty rare at the thrift store. For sure. So I guess that's what we'll do. All right, let's, uh, let's go do something else now. So today's a whopper, it's still not done. This is Merchant Square, the other antique mall that we sell toys at that uh, it's actually the one that the bookshelves that we just bought need to go to. And we toyed with doing that today, but there's less than an hour left. And we could rush and get it done. And we were still almost undecided, but we pulled in and saw how populous, how populated this uh, parking lot is. We kind of forgot, but I don't know how we forgot. This is one of the bigger sales weekends of the year at this antique mall so there's tons of people here it's really busy there's no need for us to be moving furniture and bookshelves in but we did stop by because uh hannah's got to grab something and then also i need to check my toy booth because we did have such a crazy day of sales in my toy booth yesterday one of the biggest here ever that i'm pretty certain my toy booth is probably destroyed i guarantee we're gonna walk in there and there's gonna be stuff all over the floor just as i suspected look at this destroyed 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 yeah that's what happens when there's crazy sale days but i'm not complaining because we made good money just gotta pick all this up all right this booth is back to reasonable a couple things here that aren't mine i've sold there's probably four or five times that many pokemon cards when uh i put them in there they're all selling really quickly um but this booth needs a big overhaul which we're gonna get to whenever we get finished setting up that other one it's gonna get a big kind of redesign a couple more shelves pegboard kind of moved around it's gonna be good and i'm gonna get rid of that and put more shelves in but as i said earlier when we were at the thrift store um while we were at the thrift store earlier uh, buying those shelves sorry i'm distracted by my plushies being all out of order as i said earlier it all comes down to shelving so we just got two more hannah's booth is going to get priority on those and probably she's going to get the next one or two as well and then we'll start adding shelves in over here on this booth that's the plan i really want to get rid of these little ones these skinny ones don't like I want to tell you guys this just to kind of prove to you or tell you how popular Hannah's custom jeans are. We normally don't do this type of thing, but because this was a big sales weekend here, we put some of Hannah's two-tone jeans that she makes here in this booth. They're also listed online, and so it's, it can get a little messy. I bet a lot of people that do this kind of thing understand. Some people chance it, some people don't. Uh, but we did just for the weekend because we figured, what the heck, there's no chance that they'll double sell but of course they did sold the same pair of pants here as we just did online so it's cool though because they're custom so you're just gonna make them another pair <laughs> nobody will know any different all right guys there's not a lot to talk about at the end of this video like there normally is all we really bought at the thrift today were some shelves and uh that's it the end Super came by <laughs> um well i kind of figured just to tack a little conversation on the end of this video we talk about something specific I've been getting a couple comments lately where people uh, very kindly uh, say, hey guys, you know, don't get burnt out. Or, or there's, there's been a few different ways in which people politely suggested, you know, don't do too much, guys. I think this is, I'm assuming from these comments that this is based off it looking like we do way too much sometimes. 
And so I want to talk about that a little bit, just about where we are, because I think it, I, I, the thing that comes to mind when I read those comments is like, I feel like I would be honest with you guys. I think I'd say it out loud if I was getting burnt out, if I was getting tired of doing this. Um, and, I, and I can honestly say I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm not there. I don't in any way feel burnt out or overworked yet. The one way I do sometimes is I feel a little bit physically overworked. So, and this has happened every time we've opened these booths, I've gotten physically worn out just from the lifting, the getting up and down, the painting and stuff. So, that's how I feel about, you know, how much we're doing on this channel. Because we do, we, this is a 24 se 24-7 job, really. But how do you feel about it? Um, I'm very, I'm very hopeful about everything. Like, I am looking forward to the future with what our YouTube channel is has already become and what it's going to become mm -hmm. i'm looking forward to the future of opening more booths and that's kind of keeping me going um so as far as being burnt out no i would say more like like you i'm i'm worn out yeah. i'm tired Just, but. <laughs> this week yeah i got last week i was living high we had a week full, i think last week was such a great week of videos um but I, I, I do feel worn out right now. And I didn't make this clip to say I, work, I feel worn out now. But um, it, it, it's a curious conversation because I, I'm kind of interested in how you guys feel about this kind of thing. Um, I, but I don't know exactly where to start the discussion. Because I don't want to know how you feel about me being burned out or not. That's what, not what I mean. But, you know, you guys all have full-time jobs just like we do. A lot of you are reselling in one way or another. And uh, I'm kind of wondering today in the comments below, if you, before you get out of here, you'd comment and let us know uh, what usually comes out that starts to get you that way. Because this is the closest I ever get to being like, oh, YouTube. Because like we did all this work that you saw today and it was a lot and I had to come home and edit this video. But I, even then, I, I need to stress, I'm not like, I didn't edit it and go, oh, it sucks. But it's the closest I get to being a little bit tired of everything we have to do today. So I'm kind of wondering where the line is for you guys. Um, do you, cause I, I bet there's some of you watching, I'm gonna make some assumptions here, but there's a lot of people here watching that have full-time jobs and then they come home and resell. So they're doing all the stuff we're doing after yeah. they work 40 hours a week. Which I mean, I, I can relate to that. I yeah. did that for about a year and a half. I worked at the bridal shop for, you know, 40 hours a week and I'd come home every single night and post clothes, post things on eBay yeah. and all that stuff. And, and how, get a lot. Well, that's a good point. I didn't even think about that. When we were still in that transition period, uh, could you call back to the time at all where like you started to get burned out on it? It wasn't burnout. It was, it was like you said with editing. It was like, oh no, I still have to do that. Yeah. Shoot. And then you're like, Okay, let's just go get it done. Let's get it. Let's, right. let's get it done. It's fine. Well, that brings up another good point. I, I can't tell you how often I'm about to go lay down in bed and chill for a bit, and then I go, "It's ten o'clock. I haven't edited tomorrow's video." <laughs> and then uh, you turn ghostly white. <laughs> yeah, and then I got I got like uh, th this video you just watched was a, was a long one. I mean, there was a lot of extra little music and pretty stuff, which I like to do when we had a lot of work to do that didn't really involve talking today. So we filmed ourselves doing a lot of work, and that. That happens, and I, and I actually have fun editing that stuff. So I, I will say with today's video, I dreaded doing it when I came home. I absolutely did. I was like, oh, I still have to do this. As happens, you can imagine, I hope you can imagine that happening if I'm editing one video a day, sometimes two videos a day, most days a week, um, for other channels and stuff. I, I bet you can imagine that it would get a little bit tiring, but you, it always happens for me. I go, oh, this is going to suck, and I sit down, and I just edited this video right before we sat down to film the in, in bit, and I enjoyed it. Good. Extensive, like because it was just a fun video, and that almost is always how it goes for me. So if I were watching this video and then heard me ask what I just asked, my comment would blow below would be exactly that. I always start to feel a little tired. I've had too much to do, but then I sit down to do the artistic part of what we do, and I'm usually just like. I'm right back in, and that's that's usually what gets me back going. Will you guys comment below before we get out of here? Um, I'm not interested in really in what you think about our burnt out or not, because I mean, again, we're not. Uh, we're just we're tired today, and tomorrow we're gonna wake up and shoot another video and forget this video ever happened. <laughs> um, but I, I'm curious for, from you guys and your reselling or your thrifting or whatever you do, even your collecting, whatever you do that draws you to this channel. I, I'm wondering what the most tired point of that is, and this could I think this what I'm talking about here and how we're talking about this and the question I'm asking could potentially seem a little bit negative but 
I really don't think it is. I, I really, because I really am curious, you know, I'm, I was curious to hear what you had to say. I didn't tell her we were going to talk about this before this video. I was curious to hear what she was going to say, and I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say about it. Because um, I know, I, if you if anyone comments, oh, I don't ever get tired, you know, they're, they're going to be lying. There's always a point for all of us doing whatever we're doing where it just gets a little, and and like, Today's the closest I've ever been to it. But again, like I said, I edited this video and I was like, uh, the, the country little song that I used to edit it all together, Hannah is already in here whistling it. And I was like, this is fun. I like it, you know? Anything else to add before we wrap this video up? Um. You're tired. <laughs> I am very tired. <laughs> Honestly, um, he's not gonna bring it up, but I will. He. I don't know what you did. You like smashed your toe. You oh, did yeah. something, but he's been in physical pain all day, even though he's like working. I think that I, I, <laughs> I think there's the extra reason I'm really tired today is because I did I hurt my toe somehow. I, I woke up with it hurting, no idea what I did. So I've been favoring it all day, so the rest of my body hurts now. If you watch him limping in the video, that's why. <laughs> yeah, or the next few days worth of videos, that's gonna be why. But no, I, I'm fine. I'm good. I'm happy with this video. I'm happy the conversation we're about to have so that's it guys come back tomorrow uh another another video working on our booth tomorrow and doing even more cool stuff uh to put in the booth and then i think uh the next day or a couple days later we've got a bins video and then uh, we've we've already shot another trading trash for video games uh for our series that we have and we've put a new little spin on it to do something a little bit different we're we're still trying to nail that uh, series down and figure out exactly what it's going to be and I think we're really close to it so make sure you subscribe make sure the notifications are turned on so you can come back for those videos I'll be very excited for you to see them a couple more things before we get out of here um, check out what's below this video below this video anywhere you're watching it there's gonna be a few different things you can click on there's a new join button below our videos uh, where you can just go click on that and uh, there's some there's some cool new stuff we're doing with our channel new ways for you guys to support what's going on here but also below that there's somewhere around there there's an arrow that you can click on and there's links below these videos where you can check out our merch store but uh probably one of the most important things i'd love to have you do is go over to our uh, public discord there's a link below this video for that and it's the place where we really hang out the most and chat with some of the people that watch this channel and a lot of you guys come and post your pictures of what you found at the thrift store etc 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 so it usually also what kind of happens is i if i ask a question like this and we discuss it it gets discussed in the comments a little bit but it's a lot easier to go more in depth with these things on the discord so if you'd like to further this discussion that we had on today's episode you join the discord come talk to us about it but that's it did i forget anything subscribe yes please please subscribe please subscribe i i only want you to subscribe so the notifications are turned on so that whenever we do post those other videos you can come back and hang out with us then guys and until then peace out